Hey guys and welcome to Mitch Photography. In today's video we're going to be talking about Sony's own G Master 2470 f2.8 lens. This is the beast of the lenses. Every single photographer, whatever you start in your photography or you are already in the journey as a professional photographer, you must have this lens in your bag. And I'm going to tell you why. Let's get started. When you get this lens in your hands, you can straight away tell that this is the beast because it's just heavy. It's 900 grams, can you imagine? It comes in this beautiful case. It's not cheap, it's expensive lens. Uh, it ranges from uh, 1,700 uh, British pounds and all the way up. If you decide to buy from the Sony uh, website, then it is 2,236 uh, British pounds, which is like, wow, it's crazy. Uh, so, technicalities of this lens are, it is 886 grams, it's quite heavy, it's an E-mount lens, so only Sony mirrorless cameras with the E-mount able to use this lens. It has got 9 blades inside uh, to work your aperture. Uh, the maximum aperture of this lens is uh, f2.8 and all the way to uh, 22. When you're gonna get your, le your lens, it comes with the hood lens cap, the rear lens cap, and you get the case as well. So now the question, why would you want to buy this lens? Because this lens is a beast, as I said already. The photos you're going to get with this lens are super sharp and just amazing. So um, for me, for example, as a photographer, as I went through uh, my photography journey, the biggest problem I came across uh, the chromatic aberration because most of the time I use my lens in a bright sunny day and I never had issues with this lens. Never ever have I seen the chromatic aberration on this lens and all my photos they're so sharp and not only photos but also videos as well. So I'm going to explain to you uh, as somebody who is starting their photography or you are just in your photography uh, journey how you can use those focal lengths and using the aperture and what kind of uh, results you get with this lens. So without further ado, uh, let's jump in into some of my photographs which I did with this lens. So first of all, uh, let's start with the uh, cityscape. So here, for example, uh, we have a beautiful Marina Bay in Singapore. And I showed this at the, uh, at the dark time of the, uh, of the day and as you can see, uh, with the uh, right settings on the camera, I was able to get this beautiful image. And if you zoom in at the photo, you can see how beautiful and sharp the photo is. So if you see the scaper, you know, so absolutely definitely get this lens, amazing results. So another photo, which I'm gonna take you through, is a beautiful portrait of a girl with this bright background. And if you're gonna use some of the prime lenses, like uh, for instance, Sony Zeiss 35mm f1.4, I have problems with the uh, chromatic aberration. Uh, for example, like all these towers at the back of the building, you'll see they all have aberrations, like neon lights and stuff. It just doesn't look nice, it looks so fake. And of course, you can work it with Photoshop, but it's going to take such a long time. So with this lens, you will never have any issues with chromatic aberrations. If you look, for example, in the towers here, they look so nice and sharp and every single light is balanced and my subject as well is so sharp and beautiful. And look at the background. Background just looks amazing and so beautiful. It's not too blurred out and that's what I like about 2470 because I still want to keep those details at the back of the, uh, at the, back of the photo. For example, like this beautiful uh, castle which we have. Um, so here we go, once again, this is the portrait of the beautiful couple. Uh, I showed this photo at the 70 millimeter, uh, taking advantage of the uh, wider aperture at f2.8. And you can see once again, how beautiful background is. And uh, my subjects, they look just so beautiful. And look at that light, guys. Light looks so amazing and so balanced. Um, this obviously after editing in Lightroom, uh, but I can tell you that the, the photos still come out as the raw, fantastic and beautiful. Here, I just want to show an example of the photo I've taken in London, uh, in London Parade. Um, here you can see the, uh, the line of the policeman and I've shot this uh, picture at the 70 millimeter. I still remember at 70 millimeter because I didn't want to get close to them and take a picture of them. And I've taken the advantage of the wider aperture and you can see here, for example, like as I was uh, focusing at the guys far uh, at the front, they're all sharp and neat 
and then the ones which are closer to me, they be they they bit blurred out. And this is an example of what you can get with this lens. It's such an amazing lens. Uh, another portrait we've got here uh, of the beautiful girl, of the beautiful dress, and you can see the perspective in here. So this is, um, I've shot this at the uh, uh, 50 millimeter, I believe. And uh, the uh, f-stop in this uh, photo was at four because I just want to keep all those details. But if you look in the tunnel far ahead, you can still see those details and it's just so beautiful and just so sharp. And look at details just around the sides here. Look at these bollards here, um, standing here on the side. Uh, all these door handles and everything just looks so amazing. Another portrait of the little boy here, for example, the flare. The sun flare with this lens is super amazing. And you can see how uh, it just brightened up my photo in here. And look at the little boy here. Again, everything is so sharp. There is no chromatic aberration whatsoever. Amazing, amazing results. So another um, example here, we've got uh, bottles of champagne. And uh, if you look, I've shot this at 70 millimeter, wide aperture f2.8, and you can see how beautiful and creamy background is, which is amazing for the wedding photographers, if you are. If you're a headshot photographer, portrait photographer, look at these details, guys. Very, very sharp and very beautiful photo. Well, what can I say? This lens is just, just amazing. And uh, just another photo. So if you're into macro photography, if you like taking uh, photos of the, uh, of, the, uh, of the flowers here, for example, I've got an example for you of uh, taking the photo of the cactus, which produces the flower. And you can see here, uh, I've used obviously here a wider aperture, hence it's all blurred out, but looks so amazing, so beautiful. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any comments, if you're still doubting if you should buy, if you should be buying 2470 from the G Master and if you should be investing money into this lens, leave the comment below. If you've got any more questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video just to support my channel, support to what I do, uh, which will mean a lot to me. As for now, thank you so much, guys, and I hope you're having a great time. And uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Thanks. Bye.